This is footage of my Kane Hoth Swordmaster in a Pug Nordmont scenario. This is actually the first Tier 4 scenario video that I've made for my Swordmaster, um, but there's a lot of great footage here, so I was excited to, to capture this. First, I come upon a Choppa beating up on a Warrior Priest, and I can't bring down the Choppa fast enough, so I hit Challenge, which is the AoE Taunt, and it's a great ability for helping to protect other Order players because it debuffs opponents' damage by 30% unless they're attacking you, and if I have a, if I see an order player, especially someone not in my group, um, you know, someone I can't guard, then I'll, I'll use it a lot to debuff damage. So here, um, you see me chasing after a, a disciple of Kame named Yukatsu, and there's um, actually four docs in this video, a zealot and a shaman. So destruction has a, a lot of healing, uh, and it takes a lot of focus fire to burn targets down. You'll see that throughout this video. Um, there are a couple of notable changes. Okay, so here I feel like I'm, I'm not able to burn down this disciple of Kame. Um, I come over here and try to gusting wind punt. Um, one of the choppers over the over the hill, and it doesn't even land. And this is uh, there was a bunch of changes made in patch 1.3b changes. I was very skeptical about, um, but it, it basically reduced the effectiveness of AoE in this game. And I think it's been a fantastic change um, after playing for several days with the patch live. Okay, so I get a kill there on uh, on Fidug, the chopper with. Ether Dance, I see another chopper overextend himself, so I punt him back over the bridge, out of light of sight of his healers, and we manage to burn him down. Um, you see, I, I talk about using um, Gusting Wind a lot in this tool as, as an interrupt um, for decreasing numbers of opponents uh, for positional control like I just did. So patch 1.3b, um, uh, like I said, the, the, there was a lot of concern about the changes to AoE nerfs, but overall what it's, what it's ended up doing is make um, AoE is less of a cheese fest in terms of you know, burning down your opponents and it actually the game now requires a lot more coordinated focus fire to kill opponents so I've, I've been really excited to see it put into place. Okay so here um, we're putting pressure on that uh, choppa we managed to burn him down and here's something you'll see me do um, throughout this video so I'm switching off targets so there's a low health um, disciple of Kane there we burn him down I'm um, switch targets to another another low health target and you know, I'm constantly keeping an eye on the, on the health bars of the other destruction players around me so I can switch off whenever I see someone in trouble to help finish them off. It's especially important in a, in a match like this where there's so much healing destruction side. So here, switch off into another low health target. All right, so now I'm just looking for a destruction healer to pick up. And to some degree, it doesn't really matter to me who I pick up. Sometimes, you know, I'll, I'll preferentially go after uh, docs or zealots because they're a little more squishy than, I'm sorry, zealots or shamans because they're a little more squishy than disciples of Cain. But the bottom line is I just want to make sure I'm applying as much pressure to healers as possible. So here I find a, a zealot, um, Absinthe. He's using his um, morale pump back ability. So I use the rank two wings of heaven to close the gap back to him. And you'll see he's not moving, so I rotate to get around around him to his back, so he can't parry my attacks. And there's several times where I do this. I'll just park myself on the back side of a caster or healer, um, re reduces their avoidance. And um, you know, sometimes in some cases like this, like I'm not sure if we're gonna actually be able to burn the target down, but I want to keep as much pressure as possible. So he's this, this player is forced to heal himself. Okay, and uh, I just managed to get a kill there with um, Potent Enchantment's tick on the Zealot. And that's one thing I love about dots in this game. You have a couple different options for specking your character. Um, some tanks go with focused offense to maximize their direct damage burst. Um, I've tried using that. The only downside with that tactic is, of course, you take a hit to your armor. Um, and in mass fighting contexts like this, I like to maintain, keep my armor up high. Um, so classes like Choppas, for example, um, can't maximize their damage on me. Um, I, I am fully offensively specced here, um, great weapon mastery, um, balanced accuracy for the crit, potent enchantments, and, uh, and source of agony for the for the two dot tactics. Here, here's a show of how I like love protection of health. So I, I use it while I don't have a target, move up to the top of the ramp here, punt down, absinthe the uh, zealot to the bottom where Cooper X, the witch hunter, finishes him off. Yeah, I've tried playing um, builds without Kane, without protection of health, and I find it to be just too stiff. Okay, so I'm just scanning around the map here. It looks like Order um, is finally getting Fortress under control. And I see an Order player down here. Um, when I come too late, it gets burned down. And I get on the soft-targeted Sork. 
Um, I'm watching his health bar pretty quickly. You'll see it starts to tick up here, even though I'm dealing a pretty good amount of damage on him. So I know he's being healed. So I decided to switch off here on him, punt him down the cliff, and that's to interrupt him and to just kind of mess up his timing because there's a, a low health squig herder in the back here. I go up to the squig herder, quick incision for the snare, then I get the kill with Ether Dance. And then I need to get back um, to help out Mez, the uh, rune priest, who's got two um, players on on him right now. And same thing here. So this this chop is beating up Mez, so I use I used uh, challenge for the AoE, detaunt for damage. And we finish off the choppa. When I come up here, there's an order player in trouble, so I go ahead and use the Wings of Heaven Morale to close the gap to that choppa and snare him. And I get the kill there with the Aether Dance. I used to really dislike Aether Dance as an ability. Um, for some reason, I don't know if it was in, uh, later in patch 1.2 or 1.3, um, some of the out of range issues with Aether Dance have been fixed. And as a result, it's a lot more fluid and reliable to use. So here I line up Gusting Wind for a punt. I get inside position, but um, the dock is too far away from the cliffs. So I can't knock him down. But a lot of time I'll use, I'll use Gusting Wind to help pare down numbers destruction side. So we get a numerical advantage and we can burn down the opponents. Okay, and there's a really common thing that I do. I'll strafe kite away and use Gusting Wind. It's a great, um, it's a great way to uh, buy yourself some time. All right, so this Sork isn't moving, so I park myself on the back side of the Sork, so the Sork can't can't parry. Um, the Sork roots me. And here, um, I make a mistake a couple times. So you'll see on the screen in the middle upper part of the screen, there's, a, there's an eye icon. That's for the immunity, I'm sorry, immovability buff on the target. And so you know, I try to punt these targets over the cliff, but um, due to the, the CC changes in 1.3b, um, they're not movable. So I, I should have been paying better attention. I really recommend this. This those those icons on the middle right part of the screen are from an add-on called R. It's just fantastic. I I used to stare at the little icons next to the player portraits, and it's just it's too hard to read in the middle of a, a fight like this. Okay, so I come up and I try to gusting win this zealot over the uh, cliff. It doesn't work, and so I just park myself and start to attack him. So right here, you see, I'm not behind the zealot, and the reason why is if I swing around to the backside, I'll give him inside position, and I'll be at risk of getting punted over the cliff. And you know, right here, I'm not expecting to kill the Zealot, but I just want to apply as much pressure as possible so that he has to focus um, on healing himself as opposed to his teammates. Okay, right here, you see you see a Shaman come by. I get inside position, put him over the cliff. The Swordmasters are definitely the, the lightest order tank in terms of crowd control. Um, but we do get Gusting Wind, which is a, a, very, a very good ability from a tactical perspective. All right, so the uh, Zealot was running there. I didn't have a snare on him, so I used AoE Root. And I'm continuing to apply pressure to him. And again, you know, in a situation like this where there's a lot of healers, there's like two docks nearby. Um, probably not going to kill him, but I can apply pressure. And then here I strafe kite away and punt with Gusting Wings. My health's getting low. I just want to buy some time to see where the other order players are. I see Mez, the Rune Priest, right behind me, so I know I'm going to get some healing soon. And I come up here and I use Gusting Wind. And I'll do that. Um, sometimes it's, it's uh, basically a mass interrupt. It's if the punt lands, um, and there are a lot of uh, healers and casters on the opposing side, so um, I use it there to basically to screw up their timing. Okay, in this case, I'm not near a cliff, no, in no danger to get punted, so I park myself behind the zealot, and that's the end of the match. Um, I actually finished top, so order side on damage. That doesn't usually happen anymore. I'll, I'll finish like top five or six typically, but the main thing is I didn't die. And that's that's the reason why my damage ended up being so high. Um, Cooper X, which hunter led the way order side with 17 killing blows. I only had eight. Um, and we got some, some tremendous healing from the order healers, especially from Mez who cracked around 200k. Um, great scenario, very, very tightly contested and a lot of fun. I finally got around to setting up a blog site, Targum.com. You can visit me there to subscribe to content via Twitter or RSS.